Hey guys, Omerko here, self-taught web developer. First of all, Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. Now, in this video we will work with the progress bar component from Angular Material. You will see how can you use a progress bar and also use different modes of it. Before we start, did you know that only around 7% of you who are watching my videos are actually subscribed to my YouTube channel? If you are not subscribed, be sure to subscribe as I am posting a new tutorials weekly. Now, into this one. First thing that we will do here is generate our component. So to do that, I will use ng, g for generate, c for component, and I will generate my component in components slash progress bar. Once progress bar is generated, well then I can go to my app.component.html file. Here, first of all, I will hide this paginator from the last video. If you wish to watch tutorial for that video, you will have a link down in the description of this one. Now I will use progress bar comment here and I will use app progress bar, the component that we just generated. Here I will also put the ending comment which is end of progress bar. And that's it. As usual for all uh, material components we need to import a proper module. So in my app.module.ts file, first of all I will move my component here to a tab, the component that I just generated. And here now I will import my mat progress bar module and I will import that from at angular slash material slash progress bar. Also be sure to pass this mat progress bar module down in imports array so we could use component from it. Now we can simply start coding, well start using this component. So to do that I will open up my progress bar component HTML file and here first of all I will create the div which will hold the style property on it. The style property will have a width to, uh, set to 500 pixel and also margin set to 50 pixel uh, top and bottom and auto for left and right. To use a progress bar here I, I can use mat progress bar which is element from uh, Angular material and here we can specify the mode for progress bar. There are a few different modes that we can use. Well, in this video we will just use two of those, but in material documentation you can find all other modes that you can use with progress bar component. Here, first of all, I will pass the mode to be determinate. And also we can specify the value. Usually the value would be something dynamic here. So for example, if I specify the 50 as a value here, then half of my progress bar will be uh, filled with uh, color, right? but I will specify the 70 so you will see how it will look. In my browser we can already see this. We have a progress bar here and you can see this fill color well taking up the 70% of the whole progress bar. Well that value is there obviously. So usually you will specify the value dynamically so it could fill up this progress bar and that way present some kind of loading on your screen. If you don't wish to use value there is mode called indeterminate which will, well, add that loading to the progress bar without any value. So let's use that one now. To use that now, I will copy this div, paste it down below because the div itself will be pretty much the same. But now for my mad progress bar, I will remove this value and instead of determinate, I will add indeterminate. And that's it. Now on my screen, we can see this loading bar just kind of going to the right side, like loading itself. So if you don't wish to pass dynamic value well, to the value attribute of progress bar, you can use this mode of progress bar which will add well already predefined uh, uh, loading. But this is pretty much it guys, there are also other modes that you can use in progress bar, but these two are well probably mostly used. If you have any questions be sure to also ask those down below and I will surely answer you. Also, did you know that only around 7% of you who are watching my videos are actually subscribed to my YouTube channel. So, if you are not subscribed, be sure to subscribe as I am posting new tutorials weekly. But, this is it. Thank you all for watching. If you liked what you saw, click like and subscribe and I will see you in my next video. Bye bye.